I suppose you could both answer this question, but you uh, had the experience of you know playing with South Bay and then playing with the Lakers and just wondered how that went from a basketball standpoint and, and what you learned that you can take into this training camp and apply for this season. I mean, we obviously run the same stuff in South Bay that we run up in, you know, with the big club. Uh, so the familiarity between the two gives us confidence stepping on the court that we already know what we're going to do, you know, X's and O's and, you know, the mentality of what they want to do. Um, so definitely gives us confidence going into camp. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing nothing terribly different. Obviously, the competition's different. The stage is a little different, uh, and our roles on the team are a little different. But the basketball part of it is pretty much the same. I mean, we, we go out there and do the same thing. It's just trying to... Uh, Trying to maximize your level whenever you're with the South Bay team, and then and then fill your role as best you can when you're with the uh, the Laker, the Los Angeles Laker team. You guys have spent a lot of time in here, uh, particularly over the summer. Just wondering if there's anything that stood out, or whether the obvious, like LeBron coming in, or one of the other young guys that's made gains, or yourself, uh, anything stand out to you? I've been really impressed with Sfi, uh just from from summer league, just to, to play an open gym. I think he's I think he's going to be the steal of the draft, like like Kuz was last year for them. Uh, I think he's he's going to be a really good player, and I mean it's going to be tough for him because there's so many good players already that are ahead of him in the pecking order. But but he is the type of guy that I think will work through it, uh, and he kind of has that grinder mentality. So he, he kind of just shows up and does his job and plays really well. So I'm I'm really excited to see how he how he does this year. Yeah, just to build on what AC said, uh, she's been you know I I didn't do summer league this year, but the open runs she's uh, you know. Definitely opened my eyes a little bit. Very skilled. Um, much better defender than what I would have expected. Um, and then just having all these new guys in, uh, just the competitive nature and the mentality of everyone in the run so far this summer has been you know, off the charts. Um, the way Rondo approaches the game, the way he sees things, uh, I think he's going to be great for the young guys. And um, obviously with the addition of LeBron and just his work ethic and you know everything that he brings to the table. Um, and then you got JaVale, uh, NBA champion. Lance, you know, just a, just a dog on both ends of the court. Um, you know, we got a lot, a lot of young talent obviously returning. So it's going to be exciting. Hey, AC, uh, just the opportunity to, to work with Rondo, a point guard who's been doing it you know, at an elite level for so long. What, is, what does this opportunity mean for you? Yeah, I've always been a fan of his, uh, just from watching when he was with the Celtics when they played the Lakers in the finals in like 07 or 06, whatever the year was when I was in, when I was in high school or middle school, whatever it was. Uh, just always been a fan of how he played because he kind of has the same mindset as me as far as being a pesky defender, setting up teammates, uh, just trying to make plays for your team. Uh, he's really good, man. First time I played against him at Open Gym, I didn't realize how, how good his change of pace, change of pace coming off of ball screens and just change of pace uh, getting into the paint. Uh, I can see why even without him being a non-shooter, even though he shoots perfectly fine, he, uh, he creates so many chances getting into the paint uh, because he's, he's so athletic. Uh, I'm just really, really interested to see how, this, how the year goes whenever I'm up with with the big squad to pick his brain on game day during the game, kind of see what he says, because he's very vocal, uh, and I consider myself a vocal player as well. Guy that guy that tries to lead by by example and by by performance, and sometimes that means opening your mouth. So I'm I'm interested just to see how he does it, what he does, and, and picking up different different tricks that he uses. Uh, no, not really. You know, at this stage of my career, uh, you know, I am what I am. I'm a shooter. I, I can stretch the floor. Um, I think athletically, and uh, I worked on my body a little bit because I want to be able to guard multiple positions and have the confidence to do that, not needing help. Um, so just a, just a couple refining things. For me, I think it's more about being consistent. You know, I think last year I had games where I played really well. Uh, speaking with the big team, I had really good games with, with the Los Angeles Lakers. And then there was games where I kind of just was in the flow of the game and I was kind of just out there. So for me, I think it's more about bringing myself to, to playing at that high level every time I step out on the floor. 